Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 111. Day, day 3111. 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 111. We've been covering the topic of probability and today we'll have our 11th video, 11th lesson in the series of 15. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. It's a problem that you will not find in the book. It is not in the book. Don't try to look for it. I'm going to first read the problem to you. Then I'll give you the answer choices and then I'll give you five seconds as usual for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I would like you to solve the problem yourself. Once you have done so, once you have solved the problem yourself, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time, as we always do, as, as is the tradition. Here are the answer choices. Let me first put down the answer choices before I read, before I read the question, just in the event that I forget it. So here are the answer choices. Answer choice A is 1 out of 10,000. I should have done this thing ahead of time, but I forgot. 1 out of 2,045. Answer choice C. 9 out of 2,000. But 9 out of 2,000 is bigger than 1 out of 2,045. And since they're going in numerical order, or they should go in numerical order, it will look, it will look prettier. It will look prettier if you will do that. 9 out of 2,000. One out of two thousand and two thousand and twenty-five. Answer choice D is simply one out of forty-five, and answer choice E is one out of fifteen. I don't know how far down you can read there, so answer choice E, answer choice E is one out of. 15. Here's the question. I'm going to read it to you and then you'll pause the video. It says, in a college, we have a college in which we are told there are 750 juniors and 600 seniors. Among these 1350 students, among these two classes, juniors and seniors, 600 plus 700 is 1300, 1350. Among these 1350 students, there are 45 pairs, we are told, there are 45 pairs of siblings. Siblings, each consisting of one junior and one senior. Perhaps a brother and sister, or two sisters, or two, two brothers, doesn't matter, siblings. One is junior, one is senior. Each consisting of one junior, one senior. We do, not have, we do not have both of them from the same class. One from one class, one other from another class. The question simply is, if one student is to be selected at random, if one student is to be selected at random from each of these two classes, we're going to pick one student at random from juniors, and one student from among the seniors. What are the odds that if you were to do that, a pair of siblings would be selected? What are the odds that, odds that will end up selecting a, a pair that happens to be a sibling? There are 45 such pairs. I'll give you five seconds now for you to be able to pause and pause the video and do the problem yourself. One more time, there are six, 750 juniors, 600 seniors, 1350 students in total. Among these 1350 students, we're going to pick 45 of them. We are told there are 45 pairs of siblings consisting of one junior and one senior. We are going to select one student at random from seniors. We are going to collect one student at random from the juniors. And the question is, if we were to do that, what are the odds that what we will have here is a pair of siblings? Let's take a look at it, shall we? So E is 1 out of 15. Well, we know that there are, we know that there are, 45 pairs. There are 45 pairs. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether we pick a first student from among juniors or from among seniors. It doesn't matter. We have 45 chance of picking a person whose sibling will also be picked in the second round. There can be two events here. First event is to pick one student, either from juniors or seniors. It makes no difference. So there are 70, 700, 750 juniors and out of which there are 45 people 
who have a sibling in the other class. After we have done so, now we're going to pick one student from among the other class, the 600 seniors, among the 600 seniors. And what are the odds that among those 600 seniors, the one that we pick happens to be a sibling of this person? How many such people are there? Well, once we have picked one person here, once we have picked one person here, that person only has one other person among these 600 who happens to be his sibling or her sibling. You see? There's just one person. There's only one person who happens to be related to this person, a sibling of that person. And that's all. That's all there is. We are done. We just have to simplify. Let's see what we can do. 45 is made up of 3 15s and 60 is made up of 4 15s and then this 0 will come down so it becomes 40. Oh, there is a 3 here and there is a 75 here and we know 75 has, has 25, 25, 25 times 3 is 75 so it's, and, the zero, and 0 is going to come down. There you go, we're done. 250 times 4, 250, 250 times 4 would have been 1000. So there you go, it's simply 1 out of 10,000. And that's all there is. That's all there is. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.